coming from the start that you play They're right and would've been fine They don't wanna play too and I guess I would've had a good time If you told me from the start that you play They're right and would've been fine Then I would've played too and I guess I would've had a good time Thank you for tuning in to the Benson Tunnell Show. We have a very special, a couple of special guests today with us, icons. We have three people here. I've never had this many people here before. So I want you all to introduce yourselves. I'm Zach Moe, Division Glory Entertainment, 217 Boys. I'm Pierre Barry, AKA P Cash. I'm Zach Meredith, AKA Frosty Z, also Vision Glory Entertainment, VG. 217 Boys. I was about to say, all together they're the 217 Boys. Yeah. Um, who's the mastermind behind all of this? I guess I pretty much started the label with Vision Glory. He, around the time when we first started, I was probably around like 16. Uh, I was running around the neighborhood with a book bag and a microphone. I was recording everybody, you know, I, this is what I did. Music's my passion. And, uh, at the time, you know, I was pretty much solo dolo doing my own thing. And then he, he has his group. Uh, money motivation that's his label and then he's like man I definitely got to put you on I'm like for sure and we just started from there and we just started bringing in our own clients and it's kind of crazy it's kind of crazy because I remember it like yesterday <laughs> I remember like yesterday yeah. coming outside and I seen him with a, a laptop and a microphone and a book bag and I'm like I'm yeah. like what's going on I'm like you do music or something like yeah bro I make beats I record I does all that that's like five years ago and, um, you weren't scared of getting robbed? No. <laughs> no, like, no my, where my mom stay. It's some, it's, it's some nice neighborhood. Oh. Yeah. 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 Caught around the, the wrong places with that. <laughs> it was actually around like seven years ago. Yeah. I, I was 16, I'm 23 now, so yeah. that was a long yeah. time ago. A long time. So how do you yeah. feel the Springfield rap scene has embraced you? I mean, everybody does it. Everybody, <laughs> it's pretty True. much. Everybody. I mean, everybody, everybody, everybody tries can, can, to be. But listen, but can I, can I, can I speak my honest opinion on that though? Please, please. <laughs> I, I feel like, um, I feel like, uh, I feel like Springfield, uh, honestly, really don't show as much as support as they should. Yeah. Um, I feel like um, we should uh, be more united with each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure. Instead of sure. uh, being against each other or. Um, I seen some stuff on the internet where they was uh, saying, um, "Who who do y'all think is the hottest uh, artists or the hottest rappers in uh, Springfield?" I don't I don't look at uh, music like that. I do music because it's a passion. It's it's just something I love to do. I'm not in competition with anybody. You know, we've been like he said, we've been doing this for years. Literally. Yeah. So that, like, that's that's just how I feel about on that type of situation. Okay, and if we're speaking honestly. Um, we have two white rappers here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you think it is harder for a white rapper to be received than a black rapper? I've actually had like record labels, Atlantic Records actually tell me that. They yeah. said, if you're a white rapper, they say you got to work twice you as hard. Twice, I mean, that, that's literally what, I, that's I, what record I, can labels I say tell me. Can I say something on that? I, 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 <laughs> really, I, I really don't believe that. It's, it's, it's either or because you got some white rappers that can rap better yeah. than black rappers. Seriously. I mean, Frosty done wrote a lot of hooks and tracks for people and stuff yeah. like that. So, it, 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 I don't look at it like that. We, you know what I mean, like uh, the white or black type yeah. of thing. Is, I mean, but it is a thing because it, it definitely yeah. is. Like it definitely is. So? I, oh, yeah. I, I it feel really like it is. definitely is a yeah. thing. You definitely have to work like three times as hard if you're white you compared really to if you're a black rapper. Like yeah. I really feel like it is that way. Because when Legend was here, I mean, we even brought up that it's not that many light skin rappers. Mm -mm. When you think about it, it's mm -hmm. not. Nope. So, is it that black people think you're kind of ripping their style off? Do they think it's cultural appropriation? Because you know no. what's happening to Ziggy. You know what's her can name, I, Iggy, right now? Right, but can yeah. I say something? When I met him, mm -hmm. I didn't know nothing about recording or doing any music. He mm -hmm. taught me that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, he taught me that. So, I, I don't agree on none of that. So, <laughs> what is your perception of Iggy? Iggy, Iggy Azalea. I love Iggy. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan of her at all. But I, I, I know. You want to know my honest opinion? If it wasn't for Ti, I yeah, don't exactly. think she would be anything. Yeah. Like nobody she would know her if it wasn't for Ti. Yeah. To be I, honest. I like her so a white rapper still needs that black co-signer. I, I, you maybe. think it works maybe. for her? So yeah. I mean, maybe. Yeah. But well, yeah, I mean, like Machine I mean, Gun Kelly and P. Diddy. I yeah, mean, exactly. Like, yeah, I mean, Machine Gun Kelly's taking over now. 
truth. Like, you, <laughs> I don't know who that is, but. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> you don't know him <laughs> much. Man, there's, there's, a a lot lot of, there's a lot of upcoming rappers in the music business right now. They're white, and they're, they're starting to really, they got their own sound, you know. They're, they're definitely. Look at uh, G-Eazy. g is yeah, like blowing G-Eazy, up right yeah, now. He, he's almost superstar. I mean, he's only been out for a couple of years. You Google him, look him yeah, up. Yeah, he's crazy. Okay. I mean, yeah. Well, you know, when I first, you know, met Pierre, it was actually through your show, because you had a show. I, got, I, I still do. I got a show on uh, Comcast. Uh, just saying, it's not like what you doing, but um, it's like um, I, I taught music at uh, Southeast High School last year for the uh, after school program. And um, we did like a radio uh, showcase. I think uh, you're, uh, y'all ain't know who I'm talking about. Yeah, La Mijia. Okay. Yeah, so uh, we do, we actually still, well, that that's done and over with, but uh, mainly what I do is I look for like uh, talent to, uh, to put on that show from the local it's schools. Called, yeah, it's called Learn the Music Business. Okay, what exactly are they learning? Uh, we I was teaching an audio engineer, like recording and mixing and mastering. Okay, yeah. you are you are you're a teacher, an educator. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you know, everybody at this table wears so many hats. What's your most favorite thing you like doing? Is it producing? Is it rapping? Is it finding other talent? I like doing it all. I'm a jack of all trades. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it real with This you. new job I started, this one kid, he introduced himself and said, I'm a rapper, and I instantly got on that. I'm like, you know what? You know, let me see what you got, and we'll see what we can do for you. You know, I just like to help anybody out who has a dream. But you if know? you had to choose, if you had to choose If I had to one. choose between them all, um, I'm real, I started with producing. Um, I'm a lot better mm-hmm. rapper than I am a producer. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I can, I, I like to scout. I mean, I, it's hard to say. I don't know. You, you I like to me. do it all. Yeah, I, you <laughs> found me. Oh, <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it's just it's hard to hard to tell. I mean, okay. I, I like I'll doing it all so much. I, I'm I'm really want to get in what these guys are doing, learning how to work the cameras and stuff, and you know, get these music videos going on, and then then we'll be on one for sure. It's over with. Springfield is over with. <laughs> okay. So, what's so. the current projects you're actually pushing? Um. I well, my mixtape. Uh, is completed. Um, I'm currently working on my album called I Can Only Be Me, featuring Frosty, Zach Mode, and a couple other artists that I got that I'm working with. Um, and uh, that's pretty much the, 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 the goal that we uh, we doing right now. Frosty is actually working on his mixtape yep. too. Yep. Yep. And Zach got a couple things going on. Yep. Okay. Yeah. We actually got a group mixtape yeah, we're working on together. They're about to release yeah. a yeah. Vision Glory. We're, we're over halfway yeah. done now. Yeah. So. Yeah. so they got they like um, it started off as uh, Money Motivation. That's my entertainment company. Then Starlight Records is my uh, independent record label. And then uh, what was when did y'all come up? Like what, it's, this it's last like, year? Yeah, this not, year. not too long. Like it wasn't just too recently, long ago. like we in the last year. Yeah, we've always had it. Year. We've always talked about it, but we've actually right. finally made it official, you right. know. And now we're doing so, our own thing. Got a few other artists under our label too. Yeah, so I just be pretty much uh, doing feature songs off what they are yeah. doing. But we all together at the end of the day. Yeah. So we where can we actually find you? Is there a Facebook? It's, star, it's Facebook, 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 Star Life Facebook, Records on YouTube, Facebook, SoundCloud, anywhere. Reverb Nation. Um, yeah. Do you make a point to work with R and B singers? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Singers. Oh yeah. My, my because it's so hard for me to find singers. Mm-hmm. Like, where are yeah. they? Who are they? I got a couple. <laughs> we got a couple of them. My daughter, mom, is a singer. She sings, unfortunately, you know, and uh, she kind of serious about it too. Kind of serious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, and I, you know, I find that a lot here in town. It's like they kind of sing, but they don't really want to do yeah, it. Yeah, and they do hobby. it. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, they just have a problem affording the studio time. That's really yeah, what the that's main true. problem that's is. And nobody wants to invest in themselves. Nobody. Yeah, they really nobody don't. And that's the thing about it. Like, that's the one of the biggest issues that I had uh, when I had a recording studio open over there on Clock Tower on my lawn, Lawrence. Is uh, getting people to actually uh, spend money on t- uh, studio time. Like, if, if you want to do music, like you have to invest into yourself. You're not going anywhere if you don't like, invest. I ain't gonna yourself. lie, and this might sound crazy. I sold my car just to buy a soundboard and a beat mm-hmm. machine. Mm-hmm. That is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. what is studio time looking like? What are you charging? I, I was charging only ten an hour. Um, That's not bad. Not yeah, at all. Really bad not. At all. It's right. the cheapest you're ever gonna, gonna find see. it. Ever yeah. gonna find it around yeah. here, St. Louis, anywhere. anywhere. We're on actual like good programs. We're using Cubase program or uh, Pro Tools. Cool. 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 Yeah, edit. all them good stuff. So. Oh. so, what are you gonna be performing for us here today? 
Well, today me and Zach is going to be performing I Know It, which was uh, played on uh, WQNA 88.3. And uh, Frosty got a, a single out called Never Stop. Never you on the hook. How you forget what that is? <laughs> <laughs> it's your song. <laughs> it is my song. No, you're right. You're right. All right. Before the interview wraps up, I just want you once again to let the people know your name and where to find you on social media. All right. Zach Mode, you can look me up on Twitter at Vision Glory, VGE217, um, Facebook, SoundCloud, Zach Mode, all the same thing, Z A C H M O A D. Pierre Berry, aka P Cash, you can actually look, uh, look me up on Facebook. Star Life Records is my independent record label. You can um, see everything that we actually doing, like us being in the studio. Shout out to Quincy. Um, who else you, you want to give a shout out to? Uh, shout out Common Grouse from Litchfield. Yeah, shout and out to they're Chico. Doing, they're doing big things, Chico. Chico mm -hmm. Local Music, you can find him. If you, mm -hmm. anybody needs any music videos, $100, can't beat it. 4K camera, 4K camera. amazing program. Um, yeah, so. Chico Local Music on uh, YouTube. You can look him up on Facebook, same thing. And then uh, Zach Meredith, Frosty Z, you can find me on Facebook.